All right. Um, how do I get rid of that? Uh oh. I'm hitting buttons. <gasps> Fuck, man. <laughs> right. <laughs> <Plus> in technology. <laughs> a blonde and a brunette. <laughs> What's up? Hey. <laughs> All right, well, we want Why more can't we see away. you? <laughs> oh, Dan, you can't see me? Oh. <laughs> Wait, let's see here. All right, how do I? How do I? Are you click the button? <laughs> can Kyle oh. edit that out? Yes. <laughs> all right so let's get this started okay hey everybody we are back with episode three of the bikini show i'm camille parrot and da -da -da. sarah lyon and we have a really exciting guest i am really excited about this one yashira robles she is an og bikini athlete she's one of the beginners of the division she is a New York New York Pro champion, 2014. Uh, I believe three-time Olympian, um, six-time bikini pro champion. Um, she's just an incredible athlete. So she's taken a, a quite a good amount of time away from the stage, and she's coming back to this year's Arnold's. Yeah, which it is, is amazing. Be so exciting! It's so awesome, especially. Um, just as well, you were not already competing, right? When she was around? I was just getting started in the NPC when she was like at her peak. And okay. I looked up to this woman so much. She was right. like one of my idols. Yeah. Um, and that's exactly how it went for me. So that's why I, um, her rookie year as a pro just blew everyone out of the water. The Pittsburgh pro, the New York pro, the Toronto pro, all taking home third place. Then also won two shows her pro year. I believe it was the Fort Lauderdale and then the Valenti gold, two shows that aren't even actually around anymore. And um, from there, she went to the Olympia and took ninth her rookie year as a pro. Like that just set the pave way for all that she the rest of the history that she lied within the bikini division after that. Yeah. She was consistent when I, when I, during her, you know, when I, what I remember her of is as like one of those like top, top athletes. She was known for mm -hmm. her conditioning. Um, she's an incredible athlete, mom, wife, her husband is, is also an IPB professional yep. as well. So let's bring her on and uh, talk to her. I also put out a poll on our Instagram to see what kind of questions people would have for her. And I got cool. quite a few questions that people want to are wanting to know about her. So this will be really exciting. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to bring her on. Oh, there gonna... you are. Oh, oh, you see me? Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, I see you see myself. I look okay. Oh, <laughs> that's face. <laughs> that's so good. Yay. Yay. All of us with our <laughs> AirPods in. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Glamorous. <laughs> Me too, because my, my kids are over there and they, you know, <laughs> not gonna go. Come on, mate. <laughs> well, stop yeah, hiding. Thank you so I'm much hiding. for coming. <laughs> thank you so much for coming on here. We are oh, so excited pleasure. to have you. We oh, were just talking. We were just talking about um, you right before we brought you on. How you are so many people's idol. You, I looked up to you and I studied you when I was entering the NPC back in 2013. So there's a lot of people that are really excited to hear from you and your comeback. This is oh, so man. exciting. So, <laughs> so exciting. Um, you know, a lot of us know who you are because you're like the OG. Um, but there's a lot, there's a, since you've been gone, there's a whole fleet of new athletes who may oh, not yeah. know who you are. And so we want to reintroduce you to the bikini world that Yashira Robles, and am I saying your name right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yashira, Yashira Robles. Yashira yeah. Robles, six-time bikini champion. Yes. How many times did you compete at the Olympia? I competed in the Olympia three times. Three times. Three. Yeah. And times. you were pretty consistent with those top call-outs and um, I your know. rookie so... year as a pro. <laughs> My rookie nine. year. <laughs> yeah. 
I took ninth at the yeah, man. And then second <laughs> and then fourth. Oh, it was such an experience. Oh, <laughs> it was so much fun. So I yeah. think something that is probably very interesting and something that, I mean, maybe people are wondering, maybe people aren't, but I'm curious. Yeah. You going from the 2012, let's just say with your rookie year, um, Olympia, then going and watching, let's say, or seeing everything now from 2019, what do you think the biggest differences are with the Olympia oh. and... The and what, what's your opinion on that? Yeah, the yeah. division has changed. The division has changed. I look back at my pictures back then. I'm like, my goodness. If you look at my photos, I was like, man, I was kind of chubby there, you know? <laughs> I was winning shows. I said, but now the girls are coming in nice with tight, full muscle. Really, I mean, they're looking great. It's a, it's, I think it's a big difference from back then to now. Oh, yeah, that's... and you you were known for your conditioning. I was actually watching one of your interviews with um, Dave Palumbo earlier today, just to kind of get a, a little brush up, and yeah. um, he was talking about your conditioning, and 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 he's right. Like you were known for your conditioning. You were, you know, more muscular athlete, um, more lean than some of the athletes that you were competing against, which is exciting because you and Justine are both coming back to the years. The years Arnold and both so of you exciting. are were kind of known for being the more conditioned, more muscular athletes. Oh man, <laughs> it's gonna be exciting! <laughs> it's gonna be so exciting, so so exciting. So That's tell good. us more about your journey from going from the stages, then having kids, and then now coming back. Well, so. Well, I had, I had Lila already. Right. She was two when I started. I started in 2010. And then... Um, so she's I, like four... How she's old 11 she now. 11. Okay. Yeah, Lila's 11. She's going to be 12. She's going to be 12. My goodness. Oh. <laughs> I have she's I have a Lola old. who's turning 11 in two months. Oh, man. 11. <laughs> Babies are getting so big. So I started, I started then in 2010. You know, I started, you know, I got my feet wet. Did the show. And um, from there, I, uh, I uh, well, I did it to get my husband jealous. That's the truth. <laughs> and that, that's the truth. That I, don't know, I didn't know nothing about that. But, you know, and then um, I, I enjoy, I like, I was like, you know what? Let me, let me see what house. I was like, oh, I got fourth. Wow. Okay. Let's keep going. <laughs> and then I did more and more. And then I was like, all right, now I have some goals. Now I want to, I want to, um, I want to turn pro. Everyone's always, I want to turn pro. I went to Pro. I want to qualify for the uh, Olympia and compete in the Olympia. I want to get sponsored. I want to do all that. He was like, are you kidding me? Like, you're, <laughs> I don't know. And I was like, watch. And I did. And I did it within that, um, in 2011. In 2011, I turned yep. Pro. And then... Team um, Universe. At now, Team Universe. Now not Team Universe. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. NPC. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And then from there, I, um, I, I started competing in 2012 and I was, you know, coming in third, third, third. And, you know, I was just, I, I was loving it. And then um, I got invited to the Arnold. I did the Arnold twice. And then I did the Olympia after that. But then in 2014, after the Olympia, I didn't know I was pregnant. <laughs> wow. You wow. found out you were pregnant while you were, like, like in I your season? Right. I know, no, I think it, it was like probably after, after the Olympia, but then I, I got pregnant and, and, but it took me that long. It took me seven years. I wasn't, nothing was happening, you know? And then all of a sudden, Hey, we're having a baby. <laughs> wow. And then with that break in between, um, I started eating and I got big. I mean, you see my videos, I went from 125, well, Olympia was like 110 pounds. I went all the way to 206. I gained 81 wow. pounds during my pregnancy. Uh, yeah, wow. I got I got videos on uh, Instagram and I used all the way back there. And wow. um, and then I was like, after the baby, I was like, oh, I got to get rid of this. Like, what am I going to do? So I had to like set another, you know, incentive. And the only way to it's by competing. Because <laughs> I couldn't need to know. do it on my own. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you know, so I was like, all right, I'm going to do a show. And then... Um, I didn't, I didn't get to do a show. I was like, all right, 2000, I gave birth in 2015 and in 2006, I said, I'm going to do a show in 2000, 2016. 
Um, but I didn't happen. I ended up getting ready for a photo shoot with JM in Puerto Rico. So I did that. It counts for something. I remember that. I, yeah, I dropped all the way. I did that. And then what happened after that? I ate again. Whew. I got big. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I was like, all right, oh, all right, that's it. I'm going to do it. So I competed in 2017 and I did um, New York Pro and I did Pittsburgh and New York Pro. Yep. I did those two and I was like so tiny. So you tiny. Looked, I know. I was looking at uh, your. You're, you're, you looked amazing. You looked amazing. And your, oh, your conditioning you. was, your conditioning was actually even probably even a little bit tighter than when yeah, you competed. It was, yeah, it was very, I was tighter than I, how I used to compete before, but I was just small. Maybe I was a little bit more fuller, but keeping the same condition and maybe, you know, but yeah, I was, I was uh, very well, I was conditioned, but so tight. I was tiny. It's no show. Like everything was like very flat shoulders. Um, everything else didn't have that fullness to you. Yeah. Yeah. That fullness tightness ratio. It's tricky. It it combo. It's really Especially tricky. after being gone and then coming back and really not knowing as your body composition continues to change every yeah. time. Mm-hmm. So yes, I have to ask then going back to how you obviously had, you know, your struggles with dieting and then eating, dieting and then eating. Did that change your approach to your contest prep now coming back again this year? Yeah. So I, I, um, I, again, the same thing I said, all right. I mean, for the past two years, I was like, all right, I need to like, um, get back in shape, lose this weight. Cause I, I gained after 2017, I ended up, you know, every Monday I would be like, okay, it's Monday. I'm going to start new. <laughs> Nothing happened. Diet starts tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> So then I said, all right, the only way is because instead of me committing to another show, which I can back off, I said, the Arnold Classic, you cannot. <laughs> <laughs> that you get an invite. And sealed. <laughs> if you get an invite, you need to come in <laughs> in shape. <laughs> so, you know, you can, you can't just be like, all right, I'm not going to do it. Any other show, you can be like, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. But not this one. So that's when um, I said, I'm going to take everything very seriously. I told my husband, this, he thought I was joking. I was like, no, I'm serious. I'm, I'm so serious. I get an invite. I'm going to be, I'm going to listen to you. I'm not going to closet eat nothing. So um, <laughs> I said, we'll start 16 weeks just in case, just yep. to be on the safe side. Like even, I didn't even know. I said, let's start 16 weeks and then let's see, see what happens. Right. <laughs> yeah. I know. I noticed on your Instagram that you were starting to like, post workouts and I was like damn she's looking good and then your <laughs> name was on the list and I was like wow did she know something let early my, <laughs> said, let me give myself a head start <laughs> hey doesn't hurt because I know myself is, yeah well not everybody is that 12 week prep yeah no yeah. no I used to get ready um in six weeks for shows back in um 2012 2013 six weeks yeah. it took- I used to also when I early on I would get it would yeah. take me six eight weeks but it's 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 different now yes so different now so you, different it's almost so like so many get, girls so competitive yes well you have to get to be really competitive and get that to get that tightness and fullness you need to get your body fat so mm-hmm. low so then low. fill out, out you yes. know but you have to kind of go th- it's almost like you have to kind of like peak a little early so then you can start manipulating but if you're it's 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 different the games change a little bit mm-hmm. no it's true Absolutely. yeah it's different now so Absolutely. you're now oh, go ahead camille mm-hmm. i was gonna say your husband mark though he coaches you right yeah he's, he's my coach oh, <laughs> <laughs> that worked out That's, he's my coach my boo <laughs> so <laughs> me in check so he, he trains you, he does your nutrition. Yes. And Tell he always has. That. Yeah. What was it? Tell us about that. Oh. I'm sure people are curious no. of couples that one of them coaches the other. That's a yes. whole other ball. At first, at first I, I didn't want to. I was like, you know, I don't want, because he, he, that's what he does. He preps people, he coaches people, and then that's his job. And then I, I didn't want to like be one of his, you know, clients and then having to, you know, I would just want to be wife, you know, like come yeah. home and not talk about no training, no nothing. And he was like, are you crazy? I'm going to prep you. <laughs> I'm like, all right, okay, let's do it. I said, fine, let's do it. 
And he said, you better listen to me. We have 16 weeks. He's so hard on me, but he's, he's awesome, man. I train with him twice a week or whenever he has any free time, he'll throw me in there and we'll train. If not, I'll just train with my friend. But, um, it's with the, with the food, like he's watching me because I usually, you know, eat a cookie or something, but I haven't been doing that. I swear I have not. <laughs> I, have not. I haven't done nothing but follow the plan. I said, I don't want no mistakes or anything like that. Let's just get in shape and go, you know, do the show. So well, it's been good. There, That's awesome. Right. My So my husband, Chris, he also does, he's a IPB professional as well. And he's also my coach. Ah. Um, but there's, there's something to be said about having that watchful eye on you every day because yes. you wake you get your you're you're able to, they know our bodies best and yes. they see what changes that we it's hard to some it's hard to show what you look like through pictures through a picture you know and and my progress pictures always look so crappy from my lighting I, I'm not good at taking pictures so for him to you know for him to see like Marco sees yeah. you they can make those manipulations and that's also why you're looking so like you're looking on point. Oh, thank you, Camille. You too. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. We're gonna have a lot of fun. It's that it's that fit mom. <laughs> fit mom. <laughs> there you for go. The fit, for the mommies. For the mommies. Yeah. For all the mommies. <laughs> how, do you mind do you mind if I ask how old you are? Girl, I am forty years old. Me too. <laughs> High five. All right, so we've got, we have, we have, we have tweens, we have, <laughs> girl, <laughs> but this is great because we can show other 40 year olds or moms, you know, you can still, if, if this, you can still do it. It's, there's no, there's no cutoff. <laughs> totally. Right. And, and you can get better with age too. Yeah. And you get better with age. Absolutely. I said, I want to yeah. look, I want to be JLo at 50, man. I'm like, I want to go find some both. <laughs> Absolutely. Right? Oh, Absolutely. Man. Well, I think it, it's something to say too, you know, with how it's so inspiring at the end of the day to anyone at any age too, the fact that you're just being so real about what you went through, how your journey has evolved, the things that you went through and you're, you're here, you're getting back on the horse again. Yeah, you know, and that's, that's, it. that's all that matters. That's, that's all, all that matters. matters. I'm, I'm, I'm opening up. Um, there was a, I put a poll out earlier to see if, if there was some questions yeah. for you from followers, from fans, and you got quite a few questions. Okay. <laughs> so let, let's, uh, <laughs> let's, let's, uh, let's ask you question whether, number whether, one. Oh, yeah. some questions. All right. So <clears throat> this person wants <laughs> to know, <laughs> this person wants to know, and actually I'm like, I want to know too. Uh -oh. Will we be seeing you in other shows after the Arnold's? Oh, like maybe okay. the Puerto Rico pro. <laughs> we haven't. Oh, oh. <laughs> we haven't like gone that at, far yet. At time. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't gone that far yet. So I was like, um, we'll see what happens at the Arnold and see if I can still continue on. You know. <laughs> you will. You <laughs> totally so will. Right. You will. You plan awesome. for success. Um, um, but I was thinking New York. You know, if anything, after. What's well, your yeah, I hometown? Feel. My hometown, yeah, I have to for everybody in New York, you know. Yeah. <laughs> one more, one more time too. Well, there's something to be said about those sh close by shows. Just the, you know, it's so convenient, and easy. Yeah, yeah, it's like you have the your family's there, your friends are there, mm -hmm. and it's just it's it's amazing. Um, all right, another question for you is, um, what is better, racing into a show? to get ready or planning to do a show later. So it sounds like this person maybe is wanting to know if, if you should like rush and kind of crash prep or taking your time and maybe picking a show later on if you're not ready. Oh, I would take, take your time. Take I would your do. time. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Yeah. Take, definitely take your time. You want to have the, that extra, you know, time. Don't, if it's four weeks, six weeks, no, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Yeah. Um, this what this person is saying uh, it's not a question she just wanted to say thank you for being there when she needed you maybe she knows you um, and for pushing her to be the best version of herself and introducing her to fitness oh thank Aww. you you're welcome thank you <laughs> yeah that was very sweet okay so this one actually might be um this kind of talks a little bit about what you went through earlier 
Um, and the question is, have, um, have you ever had a binge eating disorder? Have you wanted ha and want, and you wanted to compete, but couldn't stay on track. So it sounds like they have a binging disorder and they have a hard time staying on track with prep. Have you experienced this? I, well, I don't, I don't know if it was binging, but I just was, I was just eating. I mean, yeah. I wasn't eating like till I'm full and throwing up or anything like that. I was just, I was, I, I was eating uh, like big breakfasts, big lunches, big dinners, um, lots of desserts. Um, and then after my weight and I, I mean, I started getting heavy and I was like, oh no, I can't, you know, like I can't, I don't, I don't like how I'm looking, I'm feeling. Um, so um, I would try to not get ready for a show, but try to get a, you know, a head, like a, do a little small, little short prep or so for like maybe 12 weeks or so just to get myself back. And it was very, very hard for me. Yeah. Very hard. Like I couldn't, cause I was just, the food was, I mean, the, I just love to eat and, but it's not that it's a problem, <laughs> not a problem. Right. Like I, I can stop, you know, right. it, but it's just, it, it's just delicious. <laughs> <laughs> And I have, yeah. and I was drinking a lot too, like a wine. I love some mm. wine, man. <laughs> oh, I do too. We do too. <laughs> <laughs> but I think for that, I think you have to like start cutting off a couple of things, you know, just start cutting yeah. off on some things. Start, start with the, cut your carbs, cut, but don't, don't just go all out and like just do protein and veggies. No. Because you're right. and what's going to happen is you're going to end up. Yeah. Then you will start to binge yeah. because your body is so hungry for it. And I think for like for what you're describing, I think a lot of that that's pretty common. You know, after yeah. especially after we compete, we we go through this like for me, there's like a I call it like a like a four to six week like almost like danger zone where your body, yeah. you want anything. And then after about a month and a half, your body starts to kind of regulate and you kind of mm -hmm. you, you get yeah. kind of yeah. normal yeah. again. Yeah. But if you don't control the, those like those post weeks, like it can get really out of ha out of hand. Yeah. But there's a lot of people who have you know binge disorders, and it's like a it's almost like they they depend on competing to kind of like break that to get to get in, the, to get them in shape. Oh, to get them yeah. In shape. yeah, and the the competing and the dieting can trigger more more binges. So that's that's hard. Yeah. That's, that's, that's hard for people hard. who have that. I think it's, it's really too hard. one of those things that people who experience that sometimes it could be something that's totally underlying that's causing that reaction to them to you know almost latch on to food like that. Food. Um, yeah. So it's it's also taking the time to figure out hey is there something else another circumstance in my life that's causing this not just yeah. the restrictive thing. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Very true. Um. All right, there was a get couple healthy. more here. What's that? I said, get healthy. <laughs> yes, get healthy. <laughs> it's like um, a switch. Okay. It's just a switch. It, it can take right. just like two weeks, and you're going to see that light switch is going to go on, and then you're going to be like, well, I don't even want that. I don't need it right now. I can have it later. Absolutely. You know, it's, Once a week is fine. It's true, but during that phase, you almost feel like you're going crazy. Like, yeah. You feel like you're going like mentally crazy. And that's the most important draws. time after a show. <laughs> your body's like a sponge, you yes. know. That's yeah. the crucial time. So if you, you know, can't execute that reverse diet during that time, you can cause uh, metabolic issues, thyroid issues that takes you even longer to bounce back from. Yeah. And the reverse you put on fat, the harder it is to get it off. Reverse yeah, dieting. It is. Reverse dieting is harder than actual prep. That's, that's hard. I've Absolutely. never been able to fully stick to a reverse diet. Oh, I never Art. stuck to no diet. Yeah. No, no. I just eat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we're cutting that part. <laughs> I mean, I never reverse dieting. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that wasn't really, a, I mean, when, when we first start, when you were like, when I first started, like reverse dieting was not a thing. It was, no, just, it wasn't. It no, wasn't it a, thing. a thing. You just, no. you, one way to diet. <laughs> now it's yeah. everywhere, but it's yeah. just like, you just got to kind of like, you know, reel it in and like make smart choices. Smart but... choices, exactly. Yeah. 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 There was no reverse dieting. There was yeah. just after the show, you eat and that's it. And then you just go to the gym, train cardio, 
and then plan your next show and then you cut, cut it all off after. right back to the chicken and veggies right to the chicken and veggies <laughs> All right. So there was, there was another question here. <clears throat> uh, did you follow a training reg, uh, regime or food plan for your second pregnancy? My second pregnancy? No. <laughs> <laughs> I just finished competing. I was competing from 2010. Like, I'm pregnant, to babe. I want Froyo. I want this. <laughs> and you live in New York City. I was Come competing on. for four years. <laughs> And then I got pregnant. You know what happened? I just Hormones. ate everything. Yeah. I mean, the doctor was like, what's going on? Like, every time I came, they said, why is the numbers going up? You need to stop. That but would be so hard. Being oh. pregnant after a show. Holy oh. crap. I know. I mean, it, I don't think it, that. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was it was yeah. difficult for me. I was just eating. I was eating. I was trying to be healthy and eat and go train and stuff. But <clears throat> when the doctor told me because the placenta was really low, too, they said I had to stay away from the gym and weights or anything like that. There's nothing else for me to do. But just, you know, that's what happened. <laughs> wow. But on I the flip eating. side, right. on the flip side, you also were able to get pregnant after going through a prep and competing yeah. for a long time. And a lot of people are fearful that it's going to damage your body and, you know, our hormone levels and the, you know, chance of being pregnant. But you were pregnant right after right, the Olympia. Yeah, right away. And mm -hmm. after, mm -hmm. everything was perfect. Baby was normal. Everything was fine. What happened to me after um, giving birth was I, I was, uh, that, um, I got preeclampsia. Mm. I was hospitalized mm. for like two weeks. And um, it was really bad. My blood pressure, everything was all crazy. And so they didn't know what was going on with me. And they, they left me there. But then they said I was going to have to be, um, had to like use blood pressure medication for the rest of my life. Um, wow. I was like, oh wow. my God. But then I, it, it went away. And here I am now. Like it's, yeah. Wow. I, I don't know what, Thank yeah. God. Yeah. That's the only thing. And that, that, um, it's an, it happens to women either during pregnancy or after, right? It's like a percentage, yeah. Or something. But I, it was a scary, it was the scariest moment of my life. <laughs> I bet. But also, you, I mean, you're probably a little bit different than the average person as well. Like you're, you know, you you are you are naturally active. You yeah. are you're you are going to naturally go back to a very healthy look diet whereas a lot of people might continue on a more unhealthy pattern you know so yeah. they would adapt those like as like you know cholesterol or diabetes yeah. permanently mm -hmm. afterwards <clears throat> there's another one here um oh it was a second part to that one if you did have a training plan or diet plan during your pregnancy <laughs> what 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 it was uh, she I slept, guess you're coming out she with rested. <laughs> Oh, man, I didn't have one. I'm so sorry. You should make one. <laughs> I know. There you go. <laughs> I think that there was one. Well, there wasn't a diet one, but there was um. I, mean, I did a, a YouTube video um with my belly doing some exercises. It's on there on the Asira Robles on YouTube. There you <laughs> go. go. Check, check it out. It out. Check it out. Guys. Yeah. <laughs> so those are the questions I had for you um that came in that were kind of cute and fun okay. um so what are you I'm curious about so with your prep in the past and your prep now what types of things are you guys doing differently to change as the division has changed as well does that make sense um so what I'm doing different with with my prep now yeah from, from before or more I'm eating more food now compared to eating three ounces of protein before, two to three ounces of protein and um, small amounts of carbs. Now I'm eating four to five ounces of protein, um, half a cup to a cup of carbs, five to six meals a day. Um, I'm training more consistently, heavy. Mm -hmm. And uh, before I wasn't, before it was more cardio, like 90 yeah. minute cardio sessions and all that stuff and plyometrics and um, not too heavy weights. It was like light. And, um, that's pretty much it. And, and we, um, I'm, instead of like before I would 
start like six, eight to six weeks. This time I'm giving myself at least 16 to see. So Thanks, I'm Deborah. giving myself a, yeah, 16 week prep compared to, well, not, I can't say 16 because uh, every week I was like, okay, maybe I'll start next week. You know, because you can give yourself 16 and then you got 15 and then 14. You, you and ease like, oh, I, I into it. The yeah. Limit, yeah. And then when the, so I'm going to be honest. So I guess, you know, one week was something else, another week. But then when the list came out, I was like, oh, that's it. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But, so that was like but 12. I, <laughs> well, I think that's, time to get I, to that mindset. Yeah. yeah. And that, that's normal. I think a lot of us, we will start to kind of like, like, I know two weeks before, I know the invite list is going to come out. I'll start just mentally, like, kind of like cleaning things up a little bit and yes. like, because it makes it easier. It's like there's yes. a transition phase and you're kind of like yep. getting yourself mentally in the game. <clears throat> yes, it makes it easier. So I stayed in the gym more. So I was going five days a week, six days a week compared to like once or twice. Not three. So what's your cardio out? What's your cardio out right now? Are you doing so any cardio? I'm doing 30 minutes um, post. Um, and then at night when I'm working on my lunch break, I'll go do another 40 minutes. Um, I, I, I know I should be doing fasted cardio. I just, I'd rather sleep in <laughs> um, and then just do it after training and then do it later on at night. But um I'm starting to put in like maybe a session here, a session there. So I'll do a fasted cardio in the morning and it's going to be 40 minutes, 40 to 45 minutes tops. And then, um, then I'll do another one post post workout. I don't think you have to do fasted cardio. I think it just depends on like, like I know like Angelica Texera, what she had mentioned a while back that she hates doing fasted cardio oh, too. I hate it. And mm-hmm. she'll, she'll, she likes to sleep in. Mm-hmm. So she'll rearrange it. But like for me, I, I personally like it because I have a treadmill it's treadmill dope. in my garage. I'll just go down and like do my cardio. But I mean, it's I think it's when you can get it in. And there's yes. pros there's pros and cons to all all of it, you know, yeah. and whatever is working for you now, it's clearly working. So yeah, well, that's I, what yeah. I, I like, hey, it's don't working. Change it. Don't yeah. change it. <laughs> right. So yeah. what are your plans as you guys get closer to to the Arnold's are you guys going to be um tweaking your the food a little bit or experimenting with peak weeks I know we had Daraja Hill on yesterday and they're going to start playing with their peak weeks a little bit is that something that you guys also do yeah he's probably going to do that too well he's been feeding he's been feeding me every week now because um I'm really I'm I'm leaning out so fast so he wants to keep me so he'll, he'll give me like um well my favorite shit is burger and fries Oh yeah, I love that. I rather like that than anything else. <laughs> burger fries. We so all like the burger me that. So I've been having that every week, depending on how my I wake up. If I look, if I look um too small, then he'll be like, okay, you're gonna have a refeed. Um, and then maybe like once a week, but I'm sure it's gonna. It, it might change for peak. He'll probably play around with my carbs or carb me up, leave me out, and then carb me. You know, carb me up the week of the show to get full. Does this ever happen? <laughs> Does it ever happen to you when you go out with him? Sorry, I'm laughing because so Chris, when when we ever whenever we go out and like we're ordering food, he'll place the order for me, and the waiters think he's like the biggest asshole because he's like, <laughs> she'll have she'll have uh you know chicken hold no oil no butter uh and they're looking at me like like this poor girl she she looks like she's starving and this guy is oh, such an no. ass or, because he's he's just he's my coach and he's oh ordering the food God. for me <laughs> does oh, that ever no. well, he, he says that's that hilarious we, we if we go out to eat out it, it, i'm gonna have a a cheat yeah that means i'm gonna <laughs> eat <laughs> because it, but he does that he would he would do that to me when i would go to the supermarket so we'll go food shopping and then I'll put a couple of things in there. And then at the cat, when we get to the cash register, he wants to be like, why are you getting this for? Right. <laughs> Look at you. Like, really? You're going to eat this? So the poor lady behind the counter is like, oh my goodness. What is <laughs> like, girl, you need to get like, away from this guy. <laughs> she's small already. Why is he complaining about that? So yeah. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> it's so funny. Then he feels like he has to explain. He's like, She's uh she's yeah. getting ready for a show and yeah. but oh god it's hysterical. Sorry. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's funny because I laugh too because I'm like, this poor woman's gonna be like, oh my gosh, look at her. She's slipping slipping tiny. like the like the self-help 
line number yeah. on the table. Right. <laughs> Flipping yep. you on the <laughs> so now I, I feel like people are always curious with every almost every athlete I feel like gets asked this question do you pull your water at the end are you guys planning on pulling your water when do you guys kind of make that decision so I for the shows before I used to always pull my water um the night before and then um and then just drink like maybe four ounces with every meal um, so I don't, I don't know now, like I'm still drinking a gallon. So I don't know if he's, cause sometimes you can keep your water up to the show, right? depending on how you're looking. So we, we don't, we'll, we're going to probably play with that too and see what happens. I'd rather keep yep. my water. I'm so thirsty. The <laughs> worst yeah. part. Yeah. That is, oh, that is the worst part. I know. Uh, I dry wanna, mouth. Like, after yeah. the show, don't you want, what do you want after the show? After the show, Lemonade. you know what I always crave? Champagne. A Diet Coke. Oh. <laughs> Oh, lemonade no. diet coke champagne Di- a cold diet coke i'm like that's what i want yeah. you give me a cold drink. anything liquid like that's yeah, all yeah. we want and then that's we're like okay let's, let's go on to the food yeah but then our stomach is all full with liquid and then like a little you have a little bit of space for some food you know what the tr- you know what i like to do if you yeah. order you know how like you have like all these like things that you kind of are craving and wanting. And if you get one thing, you're not satisfied completely because you still have like all these other things. Yeah. Order appetizers. Order appetizers <laughs> that way you can have little bites of all of it. And a then you eat and you're like, I'm good. Yes. <laughs> a little bit of There's everything. There's a secret. <laughs> That's yeah. true. <laughs> Sweet and savory. Right. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Oh, man. oh goodness! Well, well, we are so excited to see you on stage. I'm so oh, excited to see you, you guys thank are you. working on. Sounds like you're on an awesome track, and nothing thank better you. than a comeback story. So yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm excited for you too. Oh, I, yeah. I'm Let's... excited to meet you. I'm excited to be on stage with you. This yes. is gonna be, oh, and yes. this, this is a very competitive year. It's gonna be yes. amazing. I love this lineup. Yeah, wow, it's going to be amazing, you know, it's like, hey, you know, you're competing with the best of the best and you just go up there and have fun, you know, have fun, you put the oh, work oh, in, yeah. that's it. I know, Absolutely. it's going to be, it's going to be great. Um, can you share with us how you, or to all the people going to be watching this video, how they can find you, how they can find your husband who's a trainer um, yes. and share your information? Yes, of course. So you can find me on Instagram, Yasira, at Yasira, that's it. Um, and also my husband is Marco Rivera 12 on Instagram on Facebook. Uh, it's Yasara Robles. Um, but I usually pretty much use Instagram and then upload everything over to, um, to Facebook. But yeah, yeah, Instagram yeah. Would be the best. Facebook. Facebook is an afterthought now. <laughs> Instagram would be the best it to is. get in contact with me. But like Kyle will and get I have all my that on there on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Instagram is Instagram, yeah. Thing. Now yeah. the new yeah. one. Now the new one is TikTok. Oh my ah, daughter! Camille. I haven't done that. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like the, the kids TikTok. generation. The kids generation, yeah. I'm like, like my daughter's like, mom, get. I'm like, what am I gonna do? Just dance? What? Are, what, are, what do we do here? Right, <laughs> right. The more I scroll, the more I'm like, this is not a fit. <laughs> yeah, what is this? <laughs> Instagram will be the new Facebook soon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then if anyone has any questions for me, I have, I think if you click on where it says email, you can send me a direct email. And then I, you know, email is easier for me than DM. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I'm, well, yeah, I when I'm, yeah. I can, it's, yeah, it's easier an email. Cause I'll, I'm always checking my emails. And especially when I'm at work, I can check my emails instead of, I can't go on my phone and check Instagram. So, right. <laughs> so email, email her. Yeah, email me. <laughs> well, I wish you the best of luck the next four weeks. We're like four, four weeks, weeks out. Can you believe that already? Oh my no. goodness, four weeks. That's crazy. Ay, ay, ay. I know. Oh, how exciting. <laughs> I wish though. you the it's best too. Great. Yeah, thank so you. Exciting. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much for all your time, for coming on, for being so real. We can't wait to see you in Columbus in four weeks. Four, I think four weeks, yeah, four weeks. <laughs> In Columbus, yes. Let's go have some I fun, know. and then after, go eat, 
Enjoy all the great <laughs> and company. The, the, the food down there is so good, too. Downtown, there's some great restaurants. Oh, yes. <laughs> the incentive. <laughs> Got our I'm lips ready. Thinking, I'm already thinking about it. I know where I'm going already. <laughs> oh, really? Or you got to let me know. <laughs> oh, oh, it's so good. I will. It's the best. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you for coming on. Thank My it was pleasure. amazing talking to you. Yeah. Have a good night. Thank you guys, too. You, too. And crush have it. a good night, girl. Bye. Thank you, too. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> No, um, that was that was she was um that was real that was that was a lot of fun. Yeah, I loved how real she was. That was awesome. Like mm-hmm. that was just as real as it gets. This is how it went. This is what I dealt with. You know, it's I think there's just so much on social media nowadays. You don't get that real anymore. You know, even if people did struggle with certain issues while they were prepping or you know, off season, not reverse dieting. Yeah, I didn't know. I did not. I, I did not know that about what I did not know. She, I did not know she went through that. <laughs> yeah, but I can imagine getting pregnant right after a show. Holy crap, that would be so hard because I would be. I think anyone would be in that same situation. Right, you already don't feel like yourself at all. Like right, so you're already kind of like dazed and confused. And then throwing that hormone fluctuation on top. The cravings. Oh, man. Yeah. So that's, um, this is a big comeback for her. This is, this is a victory. This is absolutely regardless. I mean, this is a victory, especially as she said, you know, it it seems to have been her, this has, is going to be her best prep as a comeback yet. It sounds like. So that's super exciting for her and super exciting. I'm more excited. I mean, I get the best seat. I get to watch. <laughs> yeah, where? what seats do you guys get? I'll be right behind the judges, press pit, social media. For Good. Off. I'm going to look I'm gonna look for you guys rather than looking for Chris. Yeah. I mean, Sandy's really sweet to look at because she's always like this. Oh, but everyone else on the panel is like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just look at their heads. I'm going to look for Great Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> right here oh i'm so excited it's gonna be awesome to watch so yeah so uh we have alexandra on next do you need a quick break yeah me too okay great i'm gonna get some water <laughs> maybe eat maybe recharge the glycogen in my body and we'll be back not and... for this episode it'll be a brand new episode everybody <laughs> uh 10 minutes yep 10 minutes Okay. Okay. Break. (laughs) (laughs) Are you saving it? Oh, right. Thanks.